Do you worry? Do you worry about the least little thing, what could be, what has been? Do you realise just how severe worry could be? No, many people don't. And do you also want to know coping mechanisms to actually deal and counteract your worry? Well, you've come to the right place. And I am your host, John Morris. Welcome to the Mind, Body and Soul Tuesday show, where we go a little bit deeper into a specific subject from mental health physical wellness and spiritual stability to the deeper topics such as anxiety, depression, weight loss, and fitness. This is the only place to go deeper in your self-discovery journey. And now please welcome your host, mind, body, and soul's very own, John Morris. Hey there folks and welcome to another exciting episode of the Mind, Body and Soul podcast. I am your host John Morris and welcome to the show that helps you find balance in the craziness of day-to-day -day life through inspirational, motivational, educational content. Today we are going to be talking all about worry. Worry is something that I call the silent killer because it often creeps up on people without them ever really knowing. I'll give you an example. A lot of people think that if you have a family, if you have a home, if you have a job, if you have pets, if you have passions and desires and things that you want to do, that worry naturally comes along and is part of that. Nothing could be further from the truth. A little bit of worry short term can keep you alert, can keep you awake, but a lot of worry for a long term can actually be fatal for you and your relationships going forward. And how do I know this? Well, I want to share with you a little story, if I may, all about worry. Now, folks, here's a little history lesson for you. In ancient times, when people would go into battles and warriors would march into meeting their enemies, they would find out as much information as they could about them. Why? Because they wanted to see if there was an area of weakness. They wanted to see if there was maybe weak links in the chain. Now, why would they do this? Well, simple. Because the more you know about your opposition and your enemy, the greater chance of success when you actually come face to face with them. So what is our opposition today? Well, it's worry. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to figure out what is worry. My definition of worry is a feeling of lack of control. As human beings, we love to be able to have that illusion that we can control things. We want to be able to control how our house looks, how our bodies look, how our relationships are with our kids, with our spouse. But it is an illusion. But what you need to know as well is that as human beings, we need to feel several fundamental needs in order to feel complete. And it's everything from variety, growth, significance, love and acceptance. But there's one in particular that is this need is not met. Worry can set in and doubts can set in and it can lead and unravel so much. And it's called certainty. Certainty is another way of control. We need to feel certain about certain situations. And when we don't, then a lot of things can start to unravel before our very, very eyes. Now, now, how do I know this, I hear you ask? Well, recently, we launched the Mind, Body and Soul podcast. It's what you're watching or listening to right now. And the aim of the show was to help people find balance. And on Tuesdays, we were going to do some of my live teaching that has been, you know, some of the most fundamental lessons that I've learned over the last two decades. And on Fridays, we were going to have guests coming onto the show. Now, it all sounds great, but then guests, one after another after another, started signing and saying, yes, we're going to be there, we're going to be passionate about what you're doing, and some really, really big names. I'm not going to say any more about that. You've got to continue watching the shows. But as time went on, and we're having great success, and you're feeling all really, really good, and all really pumped up, and everything's going really, really well, you think at the height of my success, I would have been like, yes, this is brilliant. And it was. But then a problem happened. I started to get anxious. I wasn't taking enough time out for myself. And worry started to set in. Worry about guests turning up. Worry if guests would actually sign up to be on my show. Irrational fear after irrational fear started to plague my mind. I ended up getting really sick. You've heard the phrase before that you'll worry yourself to death or you'll worry yourself sick. It's a real thing. And the best way that I can describe what I was feeling at the time, my mind was in a state of flux and my insides felt literally like they were corroding. I've got some analogies that I learned from my time of being ill. And it felt like my insides were corroding. It ended up actually where I wasn't able to work properly and really wasn't able to function properly. And the only 
treatment that I could actually take was basically to stop and to rest. Out of that rest, I was able to get my, my creative mind back on. And a teaching came to me. And it's what I call the traffic light system. Now you may have heard it before, red light, yellow light, green light, go. But we're going to do it a little bit opposite this way. We're going to do the green light, yellow light, red light, meltdown. It sounds like, you know, some really cool 80s, you know, discotheque kind of music. But what does it mean? Well, let me illustrate for you. Green light. It's where someone is feeling really good, really positive. Everything's going really, really well. They're feeling amazing, they're feeling happy, they're feeling content, they're passionate, they're flying through life. All is well. Yellow light. You maybe feel a little bit of, of discomfort, maybe you're a little bit tired, a little bit of frustration, a little bit, little bit wound up, but on the whole everything's still good. You're still fairly positive, you're still fairly passionate, you're full of energy. It's good. Then you get to the red light. You're sort of experiencing mild to moderate discomfort now in your body. Maybe, maybe your joints are hurting. Maybe, maybe your, your, your torso's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe your mind's just really tired. You're feeling frustrated. You're quite angry at this point. You snap fairly, fairly easy. And then you get to meltdown. And this is the stage that I actually found myself in. You're in severe pain. You're really angry all the time. Any little thing will set you off. You colour in the air blue with colourful language. You're really frustrated. You find day-to-day -day tasks really difficult to do. And you can't cope. Folks, it's really, really important that every single day, maybe even two or three times a day, you run a check on your body. Do it like an MOT where you say, you know, what kind of traffic light am I today? I know it sounds stupid and a little bit childish, but that will give you a good indication of where you're at. And when you're snapping and when you're cranky and all these things, it'll give you an indication where you can say, hang on a second, this is the reason. Maybe because I've not been taking enough time for myself. Maybe because I've not been sleeping too much. Maybe because I'm doing too much work. Maybe because I'm doing too much full stop. And I need to go put my butt on the seat and put my feet up and watch some of my favorite films. Folks, I can tell you honestly, because this isn't the first time that I've had this situation happen, but it is the first time that I've, I've been able to see actually what, the, what caused it, what happened. And the first time I've been able to teach about it. If you can get your worry under control, you will find, my friend, that, that so much more of your life is so much richer. And when you get to sort of that amber red stage, you can sit down and say, nope, not doing anything today, folks. We're putting our feet up, we're watching the telly. And people will say, well, John, it's not that simple. And I get that. I understand that if you've got kids or if you've got family pressures and things like that, it can be a little bit difficult. But you have to take time for yourself. Because if you don't take time for yourself, you're not going to be any use to anybody else. Because folks won't want to work with you. And the work that you do do, as I found, is not going to be your best. So it's really important that you take that time for yourself. And do you have those conversations with yourself where you can honestly say, where am I at today? Folks, I hope this has really, really helped you. I hope this teaching will be a benefit to you and I hope you apply it as I'm describing you. Check yourself and say, you know, am I feeling positive to say? Am I feeling rested? Am I feeling energetic? Or am I feeling more the other side of the spectrum? And I encourage you, if you are feeling like that, write in the comment section below and let me know just where you're at. I would love to hear from you. But as we wrap the show up today, folks, I want to give you that word of encouragement. That it's, you know, worry sometimes can get the better of us. But if we have an awareness of what's going on, we're going to be so much more better than if, if we're just kind of just wandering through life. And that's hopefully what we're aiming to do with this show. 
Folks, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Come and visit us at thebattleswealthface.com where you can check out more teaching just like this. You can check out my brand new book, which there'll be an advert on in a little minute uh, for that. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend because it may be the very, very thing that they need to hear and even the very thing that saves them from, from going down paths that they'd rather not go down. And folks, as always, want to thank you so much for being our wonderful audience. Without you, there is no us, and we really, really appreciate it. Check out our latest interview this coming Friday, and I think you're going to absolutely love who we've got on. It's going to be an absolute blast. As always, I have been your host, John Morris. This has been the Mind, Body, and Soul podcast, where we help you find balance in the craziness of day-to-day -day life through inspirational, motivational, and educational content. Until next time, take care. We're out of time. I'll see you soon. Do you struggle with motivation? Feel yourself procrastinating a lot? Have amazing ideas and dreams, but struggle with the concept of how to get from where you are to where you want to be? Or maybe looking for something a little bit simpler, like wanting to get fit, or maybe wanting to lose a few pounds and tighten things up? Are you someone that struggles with anxiety or trauma or even depression? You're not alone, many people around the world do. Hi folks, I'm John Morris. Um, for the last two decades, I've been working with people from all over the world in all walks of life to really understand human beings, the concept, the behaviors, and ultimately the reasons why. And I've had the privilege of coaching and working with folks just like you, that maybe are struggling with anxiety or depression or trauma or wanting to get ahead, wanting to maybe build some long-term success, but have no idea how to begin. This is what I do. And with John Morris Life Coaching, you're in really, really good hands. Why can I say this? Because you're not only gonna get an experienced life coach, you're also gonna get somebody that has a wide variety of experiences, from youth ministry and working with teenagers and children, to someone who's worked with drug addicts and alcoholics, people that have day-to-day -day dependency issues, to, to somebody maybe just like you, that just wants that little bit of encouragement, wants that little bit of motivation, and wants support to get to that next level. With John Morris Personal Life Coaching, you're in really good hands. A lot of my clients would tell you if they were here now that one of the greatest assets to John Morris Life Coaching is you can see things exactly as you want to see them without fear of being controlled and conformed like a lot of therapists and coaches do. We help you right where you're at to get to the place that you want to be, step by step, to figure out a plan. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, having that support, motivation, encouragement, and even education, should you need it, then get in touch with me today. I would love to hear from you. Places are limited, so please don't delay. We've got a very, very small window of opportunity remaining. We all need help from time to time, but the difference between success and failure, achieving our dreams, and maybe just letting our dreams go by, depends on the level of help that we have available and that we're willing to accept. So get in touch with me today at John Morris Life Coaching. You'll be glad you did, and I'll see you soon.